Hi everyone, this is a new section, Taking TensorFlow to Production. Up to this point, we've covered how to train and evaluate various models in TensorFlow. In this section, we will show how to write code that is ready for production usage. There are various definitions of production-ready code, but for us, production code will be defined as code that has unit tests, separates the training and evaluation code, and efficiently saves and loads various needed parts of the data pipeline and created graph session. Let's start with the first video, Implementing Unit Tests. Testing code results in faster prototyping, more efficient debugging, faster changing, and makes it easier to share code. There are easy ways to implement unit tests in TensorFlow that we will cover in this video. When programming a TensorFlow model, it will help to have unit tests to check the functionality of the program. This helps us because when we want to make changes to a program unit, tests will make sure that those changes do not break the model in unknown ways. We will create a simple CNN network that relies on mNIST data. With it, we will implement three different types of unit tests to illustrate how to write them in TensorFlow. As always, start by loading the necessary libraries and formatting the data. We then declare our placeholders, variables, and model formulation. Next, we create our loss function, prediction, and accuracy operations. Then, we initialize the model variables. For our first unit test, we use the TF test test case class and create a way to test the values of a placeholder or variable. For this test case, we make sure that the dropout probability is greater than 0.25 so that the model is not changed to attempt to train a more than 75% dropout. Next, we will test that our accuracy function is behaving properly. We will create a sample array of probabilities and what we expect and make sure that the test accuracy returns 100%. We can also make sure that a tensor is the shape that we expect. Next, we test that the model output is the expected shape of batch size by target size. To perform these tests, we just put in this command followed by our training loop. As we are running in a Jupyter notebook, we'll comment this part and try to run this. Now, if we run the program on the command line, we get this output, ran three tests in 0.001 seconds. We implemented three types of unit tests, tensor values, operations outputs, and tensor shapes. There are more types of unit test functions for TensorFlow, and they can be found here. That's all about this video.